So it's a toolkit which we've designed in house that aligns our existing framework. Um, people in youth justice will know the Asset Plus framework um, with those kind of questions and reflections you might need to consider if you're doing a trauma informed assessment. Asking all the same questions we'd ask within our existing assessment framework, but adding sort of reflections, prompts to take a step back and think, but how did the child's early years experience of trauma or ACEs impact on that current situation? Yeah, sort of considerations for the practitioner to think, OK, does this offence perhaps link to the child's inability to regulate their emotions? Have they got a smaller window of tolerance because of the ACEs they've experienced? Um, do they see hostility in neutral situations? So is this challenging behaviour or could this actually be stress related behaviour? I think it completely changes the way you view the child and the family and the current behaviour. So it's almost like a reframing of the child. And of course, then that translates into your written assessments and your written reports that are going in front of out of court panels or the court. So where previously you may have framed a child was uh, the child was not willing to apologise. They didn't appear to be concerned about the consequences of their behaviour. They're not willing to engage in the restorative justice process. And this child poses a high risk to the community. That's now um, viewed through a trauma informed lens. So we might look at the same child and say this child has experienced significant trauma that's impacted on their cognitive and emotional and social development. The child hasn't yet reached the developmental stage where we'd expect empathy to be displayed and this child may benefit from a trauma informed approach. But it also kind of helps with that engagement. Um, you know, helps validate their experience of being a victim and that process in itself, because you need to always have experienced empathy to be able to develop empathy. We introduced the tool um, with the intention of making sure we weren't adding additional process for practitioners. So looking at our existing framework and then just adding those reflections and those prompts that has made it much easier for our practitioners to kind of um you know it hasn't created any additional process um you know in a in a demanding field of work uh yes definitely i think in what we've seen particularly as we're inducting new members of staff um and that's really helped shift our culture by doing that from you know the beginning of people's journey with us so rather than sort of learning an existing framework and then trying to sort of develop trauma informed practice afterwards to do the two things together has been really beneficial for us in helping us see that um, shifting culture.